I'm going to be showing you how you can do a really easy glow-in-the-dark tracer gel ball mod for your Splatterball SRB400. So we're going to be using this SRB400 magazine and we're going to be adding some UV LEDs on the inside of it to light up and glow the gel balls as they travel up the feed tube into the Splatterball blaster and out the barrel. It's going to be truly epic. This time I'm going to take some black electrical tape and wrap it in black electrical tape so to try to hide the UV from shining through. Now there's only a small amount of light leaking out near the bottom. The most important parts that you'll need are this LED strip. I've already used this for some of the other tracer mods, like the drum mag tracer mod. Check out my other videos about that. So this one, the wire is cut up. The way it arrives, you actually don't even need to solder a wire on the end. The wire is already attached to the end and you can just cut this wire. But I've already used it several times. If you want to know where to buy this, check out the link down in the description. You're going to need a Phillips number one or number zero screwdriver with a long and narrow tip that's narrow enough to get down into the holes here. You're going to need some wire strippers of some sort, like this, an X-Acto knife, and some wire cutters if they're not already integrated into your strippers. Some transparent tape is also handy. If you need to know where to buy any of these tools, check out the link down in the description. The other tool you're going to need is a soldering iron, something like this or even something simpler. So if you just want an inexpensive soldering iron to do these gel blaster mods, pick up this $12 to $14 soldering iron that has digital temperature control. Pretty decent. Yeah, so this soldering iron is perfectly suitable for doing gel blaster mods like this. Very inexpensive, easy to use. It was super easy to solder these wires onto the end of the LED strip and some solder. These helping hands right here really help to make it easier to do the soldering. All right, the first step here is to disassemble the magazine. So once all the screws are removed, go ahead and take apart the magazine. Looks like all the important guts are on the screw side, so all these screws are gonna fall out when you flip it over. So keep track of these screws here. These are your standard kind of small to medium plastic threading screws. If you lose any of those, you can probably find them in some other plastic stuff that you're gonna throw out. This feed tube has a lot of clearance in this area, so we're gonna make the lights go all the way from here, wrap around, and come back over here. So take the UV LED strip, and pull out this feed tube, and we're gonna see how much of it we need here. I want it to go approximately like that. So, so I'm gonna trim it off right here. That leaves us with 13. So that leaves us with 13 LEDs on this strip. The silicone that covers this strip is gonna to have to be removed on one end to reveal the contacts. Take an X-Acto knife and carefully remove that silicone strip. Then we're gonna to need to clean these contacts off because there's still gonna be silicone on there and the solder won't stick to that. So you need to clean them until you see a shiny surface a little bit where it's scratched up for the solder to stick. Now we need a short length of two wires, a red and a black wire in this case. So I'm going to remove some of this insulation on the outside to get a decent length here that I can use. Strip a short amount off the ends. So with the helping hands, I can lift these contacts into place and the hands can hold them for me in position while I solder the wire on. So first thing it's good to do is to apply some solder onto the wire. Add some onto this surface too. Can add some solder to the other end of the wire also. And we can place this contact back into position. Now the red contact. I'm 
Okay, so now we're going to take the LED strip and the end that we trimmed. And it has a plus and a minus. So we're going to solder the red wire to the positive side. And I'm going to solder it to the, to the side like this so we can bend the wires back easily. It helps if you put a little bit of solder on the pads. Okay, so now I'm going to grab that solder ball and I'm going to bend the wires kind of back around. And I'm going to tape this to the tube. This time I'm going to take some black electrical tape and wrap it in black electrical tape so to try to hide the UV from shining through so it won't be as bright. Okay, so the UV LED and the tube are all wrapped up and blacked out. Let's put it back together. Put this drive gear cover back on. And there's some pins that go into holes here. So make sure you put those in place. Otherwise this won't work well. When you're putting the cover back on, make sure that none of the wires get pinched in the housing. You have to remember to put this flap back in before you put all the, the top screws in. Now there's only a small amount of light leaking out near the bottom and a tiny, tiny bit at the top. We can see how far the light goes up. It actually goes up all the way in there. Oh wait. Just a small amount of light leakage and I would say this is satisfactory because when you're shooting with the glow gels anyways, you're going to see the glow gels come out. So this is just not, you know, blinding or giving away your location too much. Looks like the UV LEDs are lighting up just fine. So now it's time to go test it outside and see how it works with the glow gel balls.